Surprise, you feminine little females, you! I was about to say feminine. Felinids. God, I'm helping. Well, I ruined that intro. We shall start over again. Forget all that you ever heard and say again. Just none of it. None of it ever existed. We're just here now. Nothing happened before this. This is okay. This is acceptable. I'm sure we can edit this out later. Actually, you can't because YouTube's editing tools are shit. But these are irrelevant and minute details to what is far more important. Namely, that I haven't played this goddamn roller trader game this whole week. Ah, this has been one of those weeks where it's like, oh, I started the whole YouTube thing to work less. Well, that's a terrible mistake because you're going to be doing more stuff. God help me. But we gotta get some rogue trade out of the way too, otherwise there'll be no time, and we can't have that. I wanna get... Uh, Xenotech? Do I want Xenotech? Do I need Xenotech? Uh, yeah, I do need Xenotech. Why can I mine Xenotech from this world exactly? I thought this was an Imperial world. Well, it's a Winterscale world, so I guess the Winterscales are to blame, but he tells he tells. Uh, I was gonna leave that, but I guess not. Right, well, details. Um, Cassia, <coughs> Edira, Argenta, Irlet, and Adelblad. Oh, poor little Adelblad. Nobody likes you. Nobody's paid for your existence. So it's going to be Jay. Oh, help me. Ooh, a jungle world. Hmm. And before YouTube decides to scroll and wipe them out, two super chats. Young son, hey Arch, how much would it cost to get you to play Hoi for Equestria at War Imperium of Dragon Kind? I did see that uh, focus tree briefly. It does look uh, pretty 40k ish and cool. Hmm. We, we could do a funding goal for that. Um, probably in the Medieval 2 streams? In the RPG streams, maybe? We could, we could do a funding goal for that. Um, what? I'll lay claim to the stars. Normally, I request a re. Hello. Okay, well, that was... <laughs> Very secretive video game. <laughs> oh, I wonder what's going on here. I wonder who I'll be fighting. Oh, Victory I don't know. Awaits. Well, there happened to be a secret lever here anywhere, perhaps. No? Okay. All right, then. Well, if, if, you, if you say so, video game. <sighs> Wait, can I go up there? A new challenge for nope. me? Apparently that isn't actually to go up there. Apparently that is something else. Alright, no, never mind. Hmm. Normally I ask for a whole raid sponsorship for these things, but since I do kind of actually want to play that, I half won't of one. tolerate weakness. Yes, 500 for the Equestrian War playthrough. Bearing in mind that is a long playthrough as well, because Equestrian War is a long mod. It's a good mod, surprisingly, but it is long. We can start that fun to go maybe in the um, Medieval 2 Total War uh, Lord of the Rings once. Yes, that seems like a decent uh, decent place to put it, in my opinion. Let's see. Let me just make a note of that so I don't actually forget it. There we go. <sighs> leveling, leveling chat. You want me to level? Why do you want me to level all the time? None Why do you want me to level? I way. don't want to level. I was like, level, but leveling is kind of gay in this game. It unironically is. I've got big issues with the leveling system in this video game. And Sandu March, is there any obscure 40k Imperial weapons that don't get mentioned or used in the setting? Either neutron blaster or grab weapons in general? Uh, in this game? I don't think they've mentioned gravity weapons at all as far as i'm aware now gravity weapons are more horus heresy really um rather than it is uh modern day 40k these days because they had a fair few gravity weapons in um 30k they still do have a few of them in 40k as well but they are ridiculously rare 
Campionium, base gear logic. Wait, hold on, didn't I get some... Yeah, you know what? You know what, let's, let's get some of that logic, because I don't have anybody else who knows logic. Cassia, my darling. Um, willpower, we've already maxed that out. I guess Fellowship is kind of technically your secondary ability, but you need to spot things buried in the dirt, so that. And can I increase your Psyker level anymore? I feel like that should be the... You know, at the top of this, that should be the most important thing for her, all the way at the top. Like, hey, can I have Psycho level? Because Psycho level is, like, the single most important thing that she ever gets at all. Ballistic, training, character, base skill, athletic, ruse, commercial, demolition, skill, warp, xenos, commerce, tech use, grenadier. Who cares about Grenadier. Nobody likes Grenadier. Grenadier is dumb. Wasn't it here? Or is it, is it one of the other things? One of the other things, isn't it? Like a talent or something. Common talent. Hmm. In that case, uh, your understanding of the warp is actually surprisingly lacking. So do that. Figure out what the warp is. What about you, Idira, you little dumbass woman? You um, none of these are actually particularly useful, but perception that will allow you to spot cute things. Psy rating, uh, one, you already have this. Three, character level required, 30. Okay, wow, that's that's a while. Well, let's not worry about that then. Corpus conversion, pulse of life, blazing inferno. These damaged my enemies. That's kind of cute. I like that. Let's get that one. Arch Militant. You can't increase your ballistic skill any further, which is unfortunate, because you're already not very good at aiming, if I'm to be entirely honest. Agility? I mean, it does mean that you get hit less, I guess, so agility it is. Right, you're supposed to be my Medica and Demolition expert, and you're reasonably decent at both. I kind of want to get you... A heavy melter. Do you have, um, hmm. Yes, let's get you a melter weapon proficiency. Because I feel like the flamers have been incredibly just meh through all of this. You know, more agility, why not? Power weapon, plasma weapons. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be using any of these. Fellowship, toughness, ballistics. No, you've already got that one. Of course you do. Right, well, uh, Law Xenos, I guess. And Jay, you backstabbing, traitorous wench. Um, Heresy's the question. I mean, weapon Fire skill is good for answer. you, right? <laughs> More or less. Um, you good at anything? Law Xenos, actually. Hey, tech use. You know what? Yes, tech use. Figure out how to use technology stuff. I gotta have something that does that. Right, I've leveled up chat. You can stop yelling at me now. Wait, Speak, Elantark. Why, talk. You, why are you... Why are you up front? Follow my lead! Goods. Vintage Amasak. Well, I mean, that is goods. So, uh... Keep a sharp eye. It's about time. What am I getting to the Drukari part of this quest? You know, seeing as you've already somewhat hinted Watch at them being stats. there by placing their red outlines right in front of a me. Very subtle, by me. the way, video game, very subtle. We call 11, Hail your supreme glorious greatness, Sir Dr. Terra, our Lord and Savior. Thanks for the Rax Remaster. Any update on Lo Fi, Scott Pilgrim Law? Ah, oh, it's I do need to do that at some point, but God. Oh. Well, he's dead. Yeah, and so is he. Service guaranteed citizenship. At last. Oh, it's you the gay your one. Time coming to meet me, monkey. One of my soft-bodied kin. What meager offering tempted you to lower yourself to attending these animals? 
Or does their company remind you of being among your lost brothers and sisters? What do you know about my brothers and sisters, Dark One? <laughs> Only that they wander blind and helpless, robbed of their home and hope. <laughs> but why am I telling you this? Isn't it your duty to watch over your kin, outcast? Ah, the breedable Dark Elder. Alright, okay, hold on a second here. Let me check up on this. Help me. As I believe, yes, currently. In indeed. Currently, there is the fund going to uh, have sex, have good old fashioned homosexual sex with the Dark Elder. <sighs> okay, right, let me see. Do I need to, um, hmm. Letting him live, allowing to join your party through chapter 3. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so fucking the Dark Eldar is pretty easy. Alright, okay. Homosexual sex with our Dark Eldar is our currently chosen path. I hope I'm on top. A beast speaks our language. It is remarkable, isn't it? Speaking your language is slightly less trying for my patience than being forced to listen to a monkey machine butchering our tongue. Besides, I want you to understand well what I'm about to tell you. How is it that out of all of your kind, you're the only one to discover our feasts in advance? Usually, you're all so slow and sluggish that my kin have always been enough time to leave the battlefield before aid arrives. But still, time and time again, your dogs have been there to stand in the Cabal's way. I know, I'm pretty good at this. Like, I haven't even been trying, but, you know, the video game tells me to go over here and it just kind of happens. Also, as for the uh, high fire rush fun, you know what? Since since this has been almost the single sole project of one man, um, another thirty dollars and we'll do the high fire rush stream because that'll be enough to pay for the game and a thumbnail, and I'll be nice because I'm a I'm a nice person. I've always been a nice person. Ah, we couldn't be bothered to voice act anymore, did it? Could we? Ah, I suppose that was a little bit too much to hope for. If a Drakari took a shine to me, Shireen, I'd know to expect nothing good out of it. You are too popular, even with your enemies. Listen, even Dark Eldars aren't necessarily lethal with just their penises, okay? They usually need some form of tools. Aggravating, is it? It's not as so best with your own game. Mm, let's show dominance. Mm, submissive, Dark Eldar. Do not try my patience, monkey. Oh, I'll try more than your patience. Roll for anal circumference. <laughs> or also resist anal fissures as well, I'm presuming. Hmm. I suppose you are forthright in that regard. But simple riches do not change the fact of your weak, short-sighted, deficient nature. No, there is another reason why the monkey have so suddenly become so astute. Oh. I will tell you this, monkey. I know you might be lying to me, or you might even be unaware of who is guiding your hand. In any case, I have grown quite tired of your attempts to delay the inevitable. Surely you too have run yourself ragged, chasing us between the stars. Let us put an end to this. Finish this. Stand off my forces against yours once and for all. See, the problem is my. You wander among the oh, stars. You're not done speaking so yet, are you? Know of this place. God help me. An ancient reach where the echo of stellar agony rings still. A place that serves as a graveyard for old stars, still filled with residual emissions and glittering dust. The place that buried your wreck, stuffed 
full of delicious, frightened monkey and the horrors that devoured them. The threshold of our domain. Your kind call it the Cinerus Maleficum. That is where our disputes will be settled. The Cabal of the Reaving Tempest will be waiting for you, monkey. Do not come unarmed. You presume I know who you are. <laughs> Which is a presumption you make in Etta. I have no idea who you are. I don't know why we're quarreling, but you're on my planet. Or, well, theoretically, you're on a rival's planet, but it'll be mine eventually. And you speak it's like, oh, you may not know who's... I, I know, the giant demon monster bird is guiding my hand. But hey, so long as he's allowing me to fuck with you, I'm not too opposed to it. Plus, the idea that the Herald of Zinch is going to have, make me have gay sex with an elder twink is... I don't know, there's something delicious about that idea. May God guide my penis true. Literally, in this case. Or, well, Satan, actually. Satan. Guide my penis with purpose. Bird, Satan. Mm. May his sphincter split and shatter upon penetration. That is a common problem, by the way. Always lube out sufficiently. You don't want anal fissures. They hurt a lot. And they, they complicate everything. Okay? <laughs> Big problem. Right. Well, we've coercioned him every single step of the way so far, so I see no reason why we shouldn't continue. You won't fell me! <laughs> what? Die, inhuman scum! Don't dare to disappoint <laughs> oh, what? me! What? He just gets to... But... I thought maybe... Okay, like, so he was a little bitch, and then he ran away. He's like, oh, you don't get to speak to me like that. Oh. God, women... And I do include him in the general umbrella of women. Gays and women folk alike are pretty much similar in these regards. I got a video game. I would love it if you'd allow me to actually click on the portraits in a way that makes sense. That would make my life so much easier. You clearly don't want me to do that. You want me to select them individually on this god-awful plane system of yours. I would rather you didn't if you absolutely fucking insist. Which... You absolutely clearly do. Right. There we are. But yes, women. Complicated species. Um. Hmm. What well, I got equipped? The long splinter rifle. And. Wait. Really? I can't see past this stack of boxes? Really? Uh, no, I can. It's just, I, it's very specific what... Wow, that deals very little damage, but... Oh wait, no, that's not the thing I wanted. This is the thing I wanted. Yeah, that's for close quarters combat, that one there. Oh, that's nicely. Doesn't really actually help all that much when I come to think of it, but... Oh well. Suits my purposes. <laughs> I don't think that's the noise a splinter rifle would make video game, but if you insist... Call 11, is that a fun for Pokemon hentai lore video yet? No, not at the moment. Not yet. Hmm, Idira. See, normally I'm all too happy to have you run out in the open and get yourself kind of murdered, but... I'm thinking maybe we should hold off on that for now. Um... There is movement in the Empyrean. Go buff Jay. She's probably going to need it. Go buff the gay. Give four warning to Irolet. She's probably going to get targeted as well because, you know. Mm. Can you reach anybody? No. Okay, we'll pass your judgment. Come, enemies. Gang up in one specific area. So that I may bomb you all at the same time, preferably. Oh, I see. Whoa, Challenging you. Cassia, are you? 
Brave. Foolish, but brave. Ooh. I that. am a navigator, not a servitor. And uh, make his brain pop. Isn't this a job for the serfs? <laughs> Help me, Lord Captain. Very nice, Cassia. Don't worry, Cassia. You don't need to be such a woman about it. You're doing you fine. You will pay for this in blood. You're doing just fine, honey. I'll do it. Faith without deeds is worthless. You're not stroke of luck. Oh. I believe the phrase you're searching for is more like one doesn't need to be a woman in order to be a bitch, says Tiad. Well, that is also true, correct. Aha! I'm not injured. I'm enraged. Dumb incubus. But it does help. It is advantageous. If one seeks to be a bitch, it helps to have a vagina. It uh, it gives a natural oh, bonus roll, in my opinion. Oh, Emperor. Right, that was a lot of damage, which I don't necessarily approve of. Um, is there any cover here? No, not really, but I'm frankly getting quite used to the fact that there doesn't tend to be a lot of cover around, so meh. You deal a lot more damage, don't you? Eh, pick him up. Another soul Grace. slips beyond the veil. Thank you. Um, you can shoot at that one. If it serves your cause. If it's a, wow, you've gotten far more submissive of late, haven't you, Adelette? I appreciate it. You know, trust me, I do. You were My getting awfully uppity there for a while with your whole luck. Like, I'm not your Xenos pet monkey when you so clearly are. So I'm glad that you're beginning to realize your position a bit more. See, I was kind of hoping that I could just burp, burp, burp this, but... I feel like that is going to be a slightly unacceptable risk to my uh, my second wife over there, so we shan't do that. Um, hmm. All too easy. No weakness is hidden from my sight. Well, let's bring out the plasma gun. Already done. Give her a little. Okay. It's not a lot of bonus hit points, but it's something. And let's see. Where's the I can randomly do more damage ability? That's the I can randomly do more damage ability. Okay. Now that I've declared that my plasma does more damage than normal plasma, problem, it shouldn't I? Oh, you call this a strike? No, I call that a shot. There's a difference. Believe you me. You'll regret this. <laughs> you can't aim. Neither can you. I'm a member. All right, Jay. Time for you to prove yet again that you're pretty no worthless. Am I getting paid for this? God help me, Jay. I can do that with the right incentive. Literally, God help me, Jay. Like seriously, could you just? No. No, you could. You, li you you could not. There, there's no way. They who discern the future on the battlefield. Nice. We'll do. Buff our Jinta with a little bit of extra hit points. Strength and toughness. Nice. You can set people on fire now, can't you? Yes, you can. Um, that one. Was, was that you? Or... And full on warning. It. And make sure his fire never goes out. I will take all of you with me. All right, getting a pinch I dangerous. I have tomes of military tactics. Mm, is that necessary? It kind of isn't. Elevation, my oldest and grandest foe in this victory game. Victory game? Video game! Right. Actually, never mind. You should always use that if one I first. May. Because it literally Isn't just allows you to do more damage. Ah. ah, Cassia, you truly are a woman of taste. What can I say? 
Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll show you why navigators are feared. Forge ahead! Right, let's get you back into cover. I'm pretty sure you'll just burn to death, so I don't feel the urge to put you out of your misery just yet. Nothing I can't do. Well, it wasn't a too easy. Suits my purposes. Eighty-seven percent chance. Me. Captain. I'll do it. That was supposed to make you move, in case you didn't know video game. Uh come towards the left turn, crossing the tanks cannot be right out. And we'll push the target two cells away. You know, video game. You shouldn't just make up rules and then break God them willy-nilly. Because <laughs> it makes me kind of hate heart. you. It makes you want to call you a bitch. Doubt is for the weak. It makes you question whether or not you are fit for purpose. Whether or not the people who programmed you understood how to add the I'll ones and zeros correctly. This is why I was chosen. Got on it. Emperor, deliver us. That was a little what bit of luck. Yep. Turn of fate. There we go, that one dies. Weren't you supposed to shoot at that now? I'm pretty sure I queued you up to shoot at that now. Did you just elect to ignore that, did you? Oh, shit. Ah, uh, huh? Sure, do that. Probably do that. Do that I too. am not your Xenos pet, monkey. Just build up an infinite amount of buffs. Mark this that as a target as well. Because why not? You cannot force me, Alantak. Oh, I can. Ancestors guide there me. Go see. Love. You won't fail me. Hmm. You know what? It'll let. Not a problem for me. I recognize that my character is not actually built not to kill Zenos anything. Pet. So. Oh, you've unleashed my fury. Thank you. I was quite pleased not with the. Uh, Absolutely not. I was quite pleased with the tactician class to begin my with. I gotta say, because the ability now. to make your uh, big boys do more actions was your intent. pretty damn I'm cute. With my hands. Can't speak over. But now that everyone has so if many hit points, I'm kind of missing. No weakness is hidden from my sight. Just having another character that does Fortune an absolute metric swift. ass ton of damage. I feel like just damage rushing everything into the ground is, uh, well, just straight up a superior option. I'm wounded. <sighs> Let me educate you on the art of pain. Still haven't killed me, bitch. Okay, well, if you're gonna be like that, this and since you cooperatively managed to put yourself in You've a corner, got a <sighs> I've got a prize. Well, I didn't expect you to actually hit anything, of course, but you know, good try. Um, boss man. There you go. Uh, Argrey, hi Arch, and welcome back to Eternal Trading War in space with guns and hooters. I am enjoying new slave simulator with Q's monsters. Also, Hi-Fi Rush. Hi-Fi Rush it is. Twenty-two more dollars, and we've got our, our, our high fire now. rush funded too. I still, I don't think. Wait, no. Oh, you're not poisoned anymore. Okay, you do actually Come need to me. die then. Okay, well. We'll do. Expire, please. Thank you. But of course. Fear not, sister of battle. You are currently fueled by, well, unwholesome warp magic cursing through your veins, healing Isn't this you. a job for the serfs? I don't know if Argenta would be happy about that. I really don't. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Oh boy, you're a tough one, aren't you? 
I'm afraid not. My faith shields me. Rejoice in battle. Well, actually, unholy faith magic is currently uh, can escape the emperor's judgment. Is currently what's shielding you. I know that's probably not My what you want to admit, but swift. literally, what is currently this shielding you is unholy me. warp magic. <laughs> I, I am not twice, your Xenos no? pet monster. Ancestors, guide me! I'll work for a flesh crafter. If it serves your cause. Right, how about Never I go over here and just hide like the woman I've become in my own team? <laughs> I, have, I have lost. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Ashmug. That, that truly was an attack worthy of Jay. That truly was an attack all worthy of my little pirate when she really was. Remarkable, truly. Point blank range, full auto. Not a single shot hits. always drowned in scarlet. It really makes me wonder who the hell designed these weaponry, because they can't have been very good at their jobs. Alright, you're gonna... There you go. I refuse to bow. Ah, yes, come over here. Why did I not foresee this? Ooh, well that's a fancy pants looking gun you've got there, <coughs> sir. It's a very fancy pants gun you've got there, sir. Very interesting. Please was, be on fire now. Was that you? Woe to you. Or, Never stop it. burning. Ever. Hmm. We'll do. And Cassia, be darling. Not to cross my gaze. If you'd be so kind as to make his head explode. You will pay for this in Me? blood. If you insist, Lord Captain. Oh, rather I tough will endure. Gentleman. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. And the last sound the Dark Eldar heard was a heavy bolter racking about five front feet in front of his face. Eradicate it. I tire of idleness. Let's move. Now, Argenta, I'm Join gonna need you. Prayer. To touch yourself. Injuries will not slow me. And to touch me. Let's see. You're carrying health kits, aren't you? Yeah, you're carrying a fucking dozen of them. Well, several dozen, actually. Right, and then the touch the arch. Will subside. Doubt is for the weak. Sins hidden in the heart. Turn... I stand in recognition. Well. Be strong. Greater Two. trials lie ahead. We shall prevail. Lovely. Now, what was that? I going? won't tolerate weakness. A blast pistol. Dark light blast. Fifteen to twenty-five. Dodge reduction thirty. Armor penetration sixty. Range six. Rate of fire one. That's kind of cute. None shall stand in my way. That is kind of cute. Wait, can you use that? Starblight. No, you can't because it's a Drakati weapon. Okay, well, hmm. So that's my AoE weapon. That's kind of my burst fire weapon, but I guess that's a better, like, snipey weapon. God, I need more weapon slots. Lance pistol, because I kind of want that too. Because it's hmm, hum, hmm, hum, 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 hum. I'll pass. Damn it. Alright, uh, well. I'll just need to try and remember that I own that thing the next time I run into something with 500 armor then. I tire of idleness. Let's move. Come, compatriots. A new challenge for me? 
Venom Blade. See, Dark Eldar Weaponry are just cooler than Eldar Weaponry. Because the Eldar Weaponry are just like, look, I've got a weapon and that shoots shurikens. Wow. It's about time. That's some hard fucking Shunibu right there. Not even cool Shunibu, just hard Shunibu. I sense something nearby. Ooh. Well, it's just a bolt pistol. I don't really care I'll about a bolt claim pistol. To the this staff. task should have been accomplished easily. Yeah, it should have, but you decided to fall and break your ankles. An antenna, Archley. Are there any real paladins of hell? Because all of them throw their oaths under the bus at the first opportunity. There aren't, because, you see... For some reason, the Paladins of Helm decided to into include into their uh, vows to never ever lie. See, never ever lying is hard. <laughs> In fact, I'd go so far as to say that never ever lying is kind of impossible, really, when you come to think of it. Hmm. I'll go over the hell again. Because lying is useful. Lying is a very valuable skill that you should practice. It's worthwhile in real-life social interactions. When a fat woman asks you if she looks uh, fat in these pants, you say no. Because there's the implied threat of violence in the question. You can't then just go like, Oh, yeah, no, you do and do look like the fucking dunderhips you are. Because it will incur violence upon you. If you wish to not be violated and violenced upon, then you need to... Wait, how do I... This is an uncharted system. Hmm. If you wish to not be violated, you need to be able to conduct a little bit of uh, diplomacy, you know? A random bunch of las weaponry floating in space, because why the fuck not? I don't actually have any more extra extratorium, so this is kind of worthless, but oh well. Another one of those things. I've got several of those now. Unknown mechanism. Uh, Pascal's found 30 billion. Find the hidden cache on Kiawa. Kiawa Gamma. Hmm. Distress signal. Oh, you don't say. All right, we are on another ice world where apparently there are uh, giant ice mushrooms. <laughs> Excuse me. I I feel like the developers just bought like the jungle tile tolerate. pack, Weakness. and then they were like, "But we'd kind of like some 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 ice planets too, though. How do we make mushrooms make sense on an ice planet? Oh, you know, just um." Paint them blue and slap on some icicles. I'm sure no one will notice the obvious plots or whatever. Two skeletons are lying in a strange position, as if one was either carrying or hugging the other and did not let go even in death. Their gear is badly damaged and decayed. Alright, carefully inspect. There are three things worthy of note. Fragments of some sort of device that both skeletons carried on their belts and some shiny trinkets in the remains of the carrier skeleton bag and an old portable cogitator in the other bag. And tech use. We're rich! Chaos take me! Rich! Fly for crying out loud! Spit it out! What have you found? Rich! Screw footfall! The expanders can go to the orcs! We're out of here! Calixes! Here we come! With our record, Calixes is definitely the place to go! What makes you think life's any better there? I want a house on a some planet, a mansion with a lion statue at the entrance. Christian, my lion. What? Expensive red lion, examine trinkets. Trinkets of Xenos origins. Okay, so they came across Follow some fancy pants Xenos tech, and they decided that this would make them richer than Midas. <laughs> Athletic test 80%. So. <laughs> 
Now, this, this, this is a Sargon. This is a Sargon roll. I failed. See, I told you, this is a Sargon no, roll here. At searching. It's like, there's a ledge in front of you. You must pass an athletic test to go down the ledge or shatter your ankles into a billion pieces. One and it's done. Okay. How, how steep is the ledge? A new challenge oh, for me. about two feet. Sargon. What? The more you try to... I'm British. And Kalox, <laughs> the more clearly I can see them. If you find my gaze so unpleasant, the just question. say so. Fire is the answer. <laughs> is somebody being mean to my cinnamon bun? Because if they are, hey. I'm going to have to tear their heads off. What's that? A job for me. Put it out of action. I'll lay claim to the stars. All right. Somebody's been building torrential turrets around here, apparently. Keep a sharp eye. And done. Ah, what a shame. Okay, so those are obviously going to be defensive turrets stand in my way. that are going to kick into life the moment I press this button. Right, press the button, we shall. My God, what shock what and surprise! Are getting louder. My heavens! I've never been so surprised in my entire existence. All right, so there's one over there. A duck. Dark Eldar Toads. Okay, for some reason. Right. Very well. Is there any direction they're not covering in? No, not really. Does my psychic fuckery function on turrets? I suppose that's going to be our next question of relevance. Um, obviously you're going to be flanked by that, but that's sort of kind of fine in a way. Well, I'm going to get flanked by something, regardless of where we go here, so... Just yeah, pick your battles. Try not to gather up too much. Stop mocking me! See, I should have seen that coming, and yet I feel like it's a bit unfair to detonate it on my entire team. <laughs> I feel like that's a bit fair, but all right, video game. If you indeed does say so. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Oh, I got a lot of hit points too, don't I? I'll do it. For you, my emperor. They do. They do have a lot of hit points. Okay. How dare you? Hit pretty hard too. Hmm. Most unfortunate. This is why I was chosen. I mean, that was some good shooting, but it didn't actually do much. Hmm. This is why I want a nice, big, heavy multi melter. In thy light, I stand. And I, I light even think I, I might be carrying one. I just haven't, you know, equipped it or anything. <laughs> Raining Terror asks, Down also for Archway, the week. I'm thinking about getting into 40k. How should I start? Well, um... This honestly, was chosen. If, if you're trying to get into I'll 40k, that depends. If you want to get into it as a tabletop war game hobby, I Faith without this day and age, honestly, I kind of recommend you look into Bolt Gun or some I'll alternative like that, for example. Or not Bolt Gun, um, Bolt this Action, the chosen. World War II guy again. As the Emperor commands, I because act. 40k rule sets, I've kind of grown to dislike a lot of the 40k Doubt rules now. The they change it too often you, now, and it comes across more like I'll a money it. grab rather than an attempt to improve the project because they make complete 360s the too often. Commands, I now remember, I'm a, I am a child the of the yester years where Games Workshop released a new codex like every five, I'm six embraced. years and it was a huge event and there were massive changes, you know. Now it feels like they're kind of just changing what the rules to try and sell the game again all the time. Like they get through the... They, I don't even think they got through all of the codexes of last course. time before they started over again. God help me. But, far be it from me to dissuade you. We'll uh, do. Will that work on these? I mean, it does. Okay, so psychic damage does actually work on... 
Edira, you fucking woman, why? Right, you better was, buff yourself, because, you know, you? you just summoned or... a bloodletter to come play with us. God damn you, Edira. <laughs> right, that's going to make a complicated encounter slightly more interesting. Very well, very well. Um, you vulnerable to fire, perchance? No, not particularly. Actually, you might be. Tell yeah. me, and it is done. <laughs> two, two hit points. Okay, well, <laughs> no, not very. All right, well, you know, worth an attempt, I suppose. Though I should really have moved do first that before doing with the that. Right incentive. But far be it from me to dictate what you're going to get into, of course. But if you're going to get into it as a tabletop war game, your first step should actually be to find a uh, a gaming group near you, like people you can actually play with. That should be your first step. And then you can start, uh, you know, looking around the internet for figuring out what kind of faction you want to play. Because, of course, without people to play Zeus with, then, monkey. you know, there's limited uh, use in... Spending a lot of time picking out an army and spending six, seven hundred no bucks on one, you know? From my so find a gaming group first. This tedium if it's about getting me. just into 40k in general, like getting into the uh, the hobby of it, like reading, etc. Um, oh god, I'm gonna have a hard time with this, aren't I? Because my little tards don't... Is there a shift movement system? Um, of course there isn't. That would be far too simple. That is going to make this a lot more complicated. Can I move... Partial moves. I feel like I can. Step aside. The navigator be, is coming. There we go. Just be very careful where the green line goes. Okay. There you if go. I may. Tragically, I suspect that. Isn't no, never mind. I was going to say like the Titans probably have very high resistance against warp magic. Nope. Not against Cassia's warp magic. They don't. I'm not accustomed to being ordered. Another foe painted black. There, you know, they're soulless, sentientless automatons, but that does not protect them from Cassia, of course. Why would it? I see no particular reason why. Um, 82 damage, that's not bad. Or 82% hit chance, I mean. My wrath is limitless. Already done. Yeah, but luckily your corporeal form is not. If it serves your cause. There you go, bitch. Hmm. From the ashes I will rise. Ow. In which case I'd suggest uh, Cypher's Cain, the Gaunt's Ghost series. Uh, getting into that sort of stuff is a very, very good start. Service guaranteed citizenship. Hmm. Ah, uh, Genta, my dear. You are looking a bit worse for wear. And those are Xenos traps as well, so you're not really going to be great at uh, dealing with them, are you? I'll do it. Uh, in that case, just kick it into full as auto and... As the Emperor commands, I act. Do what damage you can. For you, my Emperor. <laughs> You know, Mr. Bloodletter, you're not quite as, you know, scary as I'd think you would be. <laughs> there you go, Idiot. I just... Just beat it to death with your stick. What could possibly go wrong? Oh. No reaction attack to that? Hmm. I know what I'm doing, usually. I can do that with the right incentive. Never fight fair. Wow. Don't that was kind of disappointing, actually. Oh, I want a medal for that one. Kind of, kind of disappointing. I understand your intent. <sighs> All if the bonus must, damage thing is. I am schmack. not your Xenos pet, monkey. My best anti-armor weapons so far: a sniper rifle which magically gets more piercing because the person wielding it thinks really hard before doing so. I have so. read tomes of and military tactics. Psychic powers. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Welcome to the world of Rogue Trader, where not a lot of things make sense. Me? 
If you insist, Lord Captain. How would one even hold a turret's gaze? Like, unironically, how do you go like stare deeply into my eye, Mr. Automated Sentry Turret? So that your soul may burn. All too easy. Beep boop soul <laughs> entity Shoot soul not purposes. detected. Directive unclear. Try to die with grace, at least. I was about to point out that I'd have also managed to poison the turret, but I'll you know what? Screw it. Glory to my bloodline. There really is no Emperor, reason to further hammer home the retardation. If I may. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. I am a navigator, not a... Oh. No! These rupee flashes are choking me. Guided by faith. Doubt Come on, Argenta. Show us it. that you're still worth something. My well, patience has failed me. You made an attempt. They who discern the future own the battlefield. Don't worry, I'll have you did a shout at it, which actually didn't do a whole lot of damage. To be fair. Oh, you're useless. Armor-piercing sniper rifle. To be fair, armor-piercing sniper rifles are not necessarily that much of an unusual... No, don't do that. Usual thing. What is an anti-tank rifle if not an armor-piercing sniper rifle? After all. In scarlet. Me. We really should go back to using anti-tank rifles more. They were kind of fun. Right. Oh god, don't. The songs of my ancestors speak of stone and it's done. Let's not worry about the wounds. I'm pretty sure we're more or less probably done with this area anyway. A job for me. Now Shroud says fun fact, Yadira has a five percent chance to done. summon a demon. She does. This unsettling structure, adorned in a strange mask, vaguely resembles the antenna of a powerful transmitter. At its base, you see its cogitator and a few other devices. It seems that some part of the structure is buried underground. <laughs> Iconoclast. Let's blow it up. Um, awareness. You identify a number of elements of the structure. The long-range antenna, a design standard for Imperial colonies, the cogitator, the Alderi beacon, and half a dozen other devices of varied origin. They have all one thing in common. This tech is designed to transmit basic signals to neighboring space, the most common being requests for assistance and a ship distress codes. <gasps> it's an ambush! Who would set such an indiscriminate trap, says Argenta, whilst staring at the dark Eldar turret she just blew apart with her heavy bolter? What intend to lure in Alderi and humans and anyone else? Who is an enemy to everyone and everything, she says. Yet again, staring at the Dark Eldar turret. We have a common enemy, an eternal enemy that devours all living things. Have you not already seen its servants on the Lathan and elsewhere? Force access to the Cogitator. 92% chance I'm feeling good. You manage to penetrate the Cogitator's fences. Its function is rather simple. The program is designed to activate the transmitter once every five years and send out a ship distress signal into space. Well, I mean... Blowing it up seems an appropriate choice. Sword with expix precision along with the underground parts. I have learned much in my exile. This is probably not the only elements of the trap. Oh, more sneaky squeaky. One and it's done. When the faithful okay. are idle. Well, if there's gross. more sneaky squeaky, it doesn't look like there's more sneaky squeaky on the map though. A job for me. Victory awaits. And done. There we go. My pleasure. My pressure. 
won and it's done. Natchez starts Join talking about prayer. a secret door. Oh, God, okay. Right. Blessed be the hand of the healer. I was about to say, like, I don't Let want to waste all of wounds. my healing Are charges, but dead? I've got so many the of these Emperor healing things that it path. really, Be strong. really Pray does not matter. Oh, thank you, Sherin. The pain will subside. Thank you. Ministration is a holy task. Oh, Idira, there's more holes Be in you. Strong. Here. Greater trials lie ahead. Just in time. I have so many of these, it actually does not matter. A job for me. A secret door, eh? My pleasure. I won't tolerate that, Yeah, weakness. I was about to say that looks like a fucking door. Okay, I'm gonna quick save there because they might fuck this up. I better myself through my service. Good grill, Argenta. You, you didn't fucking uh, fuck up the fairly simple task of placing explosives. Good on you. One and it's done. Loot, 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 loot. And done. Follow my lead. My pleasure. Right, so all of those random Xenos bits and bobs are actually going to be rather useful for trading with the Imperial None Navy. shall stand in my way. Oh. We need to investigate. Secrets. Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. Deep. Dark. What sexual secrets, no doubt. Filthy, fetishistic secrets. No! Woman! Woman! It's like, oh, we're going to rejoin the party? Yeah, Argenta, there's traps over there. Argenta, no care. Argenta, bit thick. This task should have been accomplished easily. Argenta, dumb. I failed. Argenta, stupid. This task should have been accomplished easily. Argenta. The Emperor favors me today. Wow, thank you. I'm still new to the art I of exploring. I sense something nearby. Shirin? Right, Jay, apparently you're the only one who knows how these traps work, so go over there and pull the lever, please. One and it's done. A Thank job you. for me. Women. I'll lay claim to the stars. And done. Medusa, monster on the depths of the webway, the favored pet of the Drukare. Why would they eat a Medusa? Anatomy tome. Human enemies. And five bonus to Medicaid. Okay. Uh, Argenta. Would you like a book on human anatomy? Hmm. Nah, not really. Because it's, it's, it's strength, time. and he doesn't really use strength. Okay, was that it? All right. Victory awaits. I had hoped for more cute things in there, honestly. My pleasure. A job for me. A new challenge for me? One and it's done. That looks to be just about it. I, I won't tolerate weakness. Sargarunian climbing test. You must climb up this ledge. This... I could... I could step up this ledge easily. Not in Sargarunian's universe, no. None shall stand in my ah, way. Ah, you merely rolled a 15. Hmm. Take damage. <laughs> it do be a bit like that sometimes, though. It do. Okay. Uh, so that's dealt with. What was that whole thing?
Find the seal on Dargonus. That was the seal. What was the other one? Kiawa Gamma. Kiawa Gamma. Kiawa Gamma. I feel like I've heard that before. Oh. You, uh... Do you... Do you not actually... Name these planets? No, you do. You name the important ones. You know, a search function would be worthwhile in this video game, hmm. Alright, so I've been down there now, and I do kind of need to go back to Footfall, don't I? Yes, I do kind of need to go back to Footfall. I really should make a warp route between... ...like, Mundus... And footfall, I feel like. To the Imperium. I'm betting I can't go there just yet. Um, but I, I don't know. Alright, let's spend one point on that then. Right, I've been all of these places. Um, god damn it. Where? Can I not travel there? Safe. Okay, I can travel there, and then I can travel there. Yes. Right, and then I could make... Okay, you need three. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot. Yeah, but I do need to do that eventually. Right, footfall. Footfall, footfall. Oh, right, I couldn't do... Okay, let's see if I can do whatever this was then, now. Nope. Boom, boom. Void Doc Alpha Row. Alright, what is this Lost Xenos Tech or Arco Tech or whatever? Maybe it's Lost Heretic Tech. Mm, I think so, because my predecessor was a heretic hoe. It's true. All heretics are hoes. To one degree or another, they sold their souls. To Satan. I'll lay claim to the stars. Loot? Uh, not really loot, no, leaflets. Leaflets and loot are two different things. Hello, Opticon. Here you go, planetary data. Profit factor gain one. Cute. Do you have anything uh, new? Power axe? Maybe. It's about time. Maybe. I wouldn't mind a power axe. And then shadow quarters.
So, whilst we're wandering around aimlessly, trying to figure out what I'm doing on Footfall, how about we all sing the Yellow Rose of Texas together? For no particular reason. <laughs> that has nothing to do with, you know, an ongoing secessionist movement in the US or anything. Of course not. <laughs> I, I kind of unironically wonder <laughs> how long it's going to be. Oh, is this open now? Let's see. I kind of unironically wonder how long it's going to be until YouTube starts uh, slapping down on that. Because if, if they've been willing to ban discussion of... Ooh, yep, something new. That's now or never! On the election discussion, I feel as if the currently ongoing Texan secession is going to be a touchy subject as well. Shoot everyone you run into! Come on, boys! Let's charge the super heavily armed people in front of us! We need to flee! You know, you'd probably be safer if you didn't do that. And ironically, like, I'm here- I'm not here to kill you. But if you're gonna start running at me with pistols, well... That is going to change quite quickly. Irolet, you silly wench, you are too fast for your own good. Oh wow, there is absolutely no cover here whatsoever. Oh, tragic. Genuinely fucking tragic. Cassia, uh, you need to be up here We're near Argenta, and you are good. Right, actually, Argenta doesn't really have much in the way of a target, does she? Oh, she really doesn't. Alright, Xenos wench. A uh, warning shot, if you please. Another soul slips beyond the veil. I said warning shot. Like, ah, but I decapitated him as a warning to the rest. <laughs> Emperor, deliver us! Cheeky whore. Hmm, eh, dear. Are you gonna summon me any more demons, Sandra? Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Oh, God, you guys do not have a lot of hit points, do you? But of course. Be gone! <laughs> Ooh. Okay. You know, when a corpse does that, that's usually indicative of something pretty virulent going about. Hmm. You don't frighten me. Filthy scum. I deal death with my hands. Die a good distance away from your betters. I always knew the peasantry was filthy. I just never fully understood just how filthy the peasants are. Disgusting. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. And this is why it is the nobility's Faith responsibility to launch occasional raids oh. into the Underhive or in you now general areas where poor people can be found and exterminating them en masse so that their filth does not spread to the general populace. It's an important task, and underappreciated as well. Like, the common masses don't get all of the good things that the nobility does for them. The yearly mass purges, for example, is a beneficial and advantageous tradition, upheld through many generations of honorable nobles. Not a problem for me. No. Nothing of value has been lost. I'm a man be careful not to cross my Cassius, gaze. Yes, if you would be so kind as to wipe them all out in literally one ability. <laughs> Thank you. So, can I get two of them with light nuke? No? Yay. Another foe painted no. black. Try to die with grace, at least. You know, you guys could help. I see you've got weapons. You could, you know, shoot down into the peasant masses, you know, keeping them at a respectable distance from their betters, betters instead of just standing Watch there. Watch my back. Am I getting paid? Corking. Like the basic subclasses that you two are. <laughs> hmm. Cover me. That. We'll do. What an unfortunate turn of fate. Right, is that all the dirty peasantry slaughtered, is it? 
good. I won't tolerate weakness. Right, another peasant uprising. Crushed with the determination and honor worthy of upper class nobility. Follow my lead. A fine display. Worthy of mine ancestors. None are better at searching. Why do I keep pressing the escape button? I don't know. Uh, religious booklets will not help you now, peasant scum. Stop clicking that. Pe click the peasant. Oh, he's still alive. Huh. I'll Death let dressed in black stars. walked the streets and sowed disease. Okay. The peasantry might have been infected by something or someone. A new challenge for me. Another problem with the peasant classes is they they far too Keep easily fall prey eye. to the forces of corruption and chaos, largely due to their own ineptitude and incapabilities. Victory awaits. Easily manipulated, My the masses must be kept something. under strict control, lest their tiny, tiny, tiny peanut-sized minds wander. Easily swayed and easier still to influence, they will quickly go to dark places to satisfy their filthy bestial urges. Truly, a job for me. Granting rights of any sorts whatsoever to the lower it's class was a time. terrible, terrible mistake. Second only to allowing women to One vote. Done. I sense something nearby. Do you? Is it valuable? Watch your stats. I won't tolerate weakness. Those are some big ass rats, incidentally. Surprising amount of valuables down here. Bodies with obvious gunshot wounds. Good, good. At least somebody tried to deal with them. Argenta, please Never don't humiliate. Me. Thank you. Uh, this is a fine stretch seeker. Remember the second word design. Remember the place cogitator statue of the founder's small temple. None shall stand in my way. Cogitator, design small temple. We need no rulers or leaders. We are not an organization. We are force of nature. Anvil. As I said. And done. My success was inevitable. I'll lay to the mutant slayer. I see. Again, all too quickly, the filthy, dirty peasant classes will forget to whom they owe everything. To whom they owe their daily bread. Their ability to breed, their ability to breathe, their ability to exist at all. Victory awaits. Uh, there we go. Mm, terrible. The world would be better off if we culled the majority of the lower classes. We really just need to crack down on them worse. Labor farms is my solution. It's a very humane way of dealing with the lower classes and also a very good way of giving them purpose in life. See, this is all too common, one of the major malfunctions of the peasantry, a lack it's of purpose. Time. By making sure that they're all busy at, what, at all times, prayer, doing productive labor, like picking torch. cotton, for example, you severely and immediately reduce their ability to get into trouble and ruin other people's lives. I align my path with yours. <laughs> you love to take charge, don't you? And speaking of the ongoing, Doubt the soon-to-be secession, weak. I really do Follow need to do league. a stream Color of that Civil uncut. War game soon. My whispers crave. When the faithful are idle, After all, it's very grows. thematic right now. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. I won't heed your cries of mercy. I will fight if I must. Oh, if I will fight if I must. Must. Scottish. Oh, God, not just a lower class, but a Scottish lower class. God help me, this place gets worse by the second, doesn't it? It truly does. 
Any more Scots we can shoot? Yes. Thank the God Emperor there is. Cleanse this world of Scots and Emperor lower classes commands, both. The Scottish populace is one of many uh, examples of an inherent lower-born class. I understand your in a class of people incapable of speaking properly, incapable of washing, and incapable of eating proper food. Which is why they invented haggis, which is just a sheep's stomach sewed up, and they put various other foodstuffs inside of it. Because again, as an inherently and automatically born lower class, they are incapable of recognizing actual food. Anything that requires more preparation than simply just sewing up an animal's guts is inconceivable to them. You see, this is absolutely a naturist argument, alright? Some people are just born better than others. <laughs> now we're getting close to YouTube's terms of service guidelines here. <laughs> There are natural ruling classes within all groups, you see. In Africa, it's the chieftains. Among certain chosen tribes of the Middle East. Spread, does it, you can do that? Just, just like that? That's rather disgusting, if you ask me. Looks rather disgusting, too. Hmm. <laughs> Demands. Now, if you would all just kindly explode. Pain cleanses the body. Hmm. Gay of you. Very gay of you. Oh, this is why I was chosen. Mutants too. Oh God. Now I'm really riled up. Even worse than Scottish. A moving target Scottish underclasses. Scottish mutant underclasses. Oh, you're not far. Oh. Going yep. somewhere? We're gonna breathe some foul underclass air here. It is sadly inevitable. The field of battle is too narrow to uh, maintain a it's suitable nothing. distance between us, the good, and they, the filthy. You and again, this is simply just the duty of a proper born. Sometimes you're gonna have to rile yourself in <laughs> the muck a little bit to improve the existence of all those who are placed beneath you. It is a tragic reality of life. And to be fair, sometimes even the noble born fail in this duty. Sometimes they grow soft. Flat and indolent. This too should be condemned at all opportunities. To be a noble, you see, comes with requirements. It comes with duties. Noblesse oblige is an important part of nobility, and not one to be easily thrown aside. Step aside. The navigator is coming. God gave nobility special powers, if and God determines and demands. Special I services in return for these powers. Servitor. As is only fair, of course. Argenta. In the name of House Orcelio, I shall prevail. That mutant has already had his turn. Good. As the Emperor commands, I act. Now Sharp says, but Arch, who will clean my toilets? Well, that is part of the beauty of the labor cam camps that I have suggested, of course. Faith Ooh. without deeds is worthless. Dedicated. Oh, heroic action allows you to do that twice, does it? Now that's a pretty cute little discovery right Isn't there. This a job for the serfs? The labor camps will solve <laughs> virtually all of our current day problems. It'll also solve our problems with children as well. Because obviously the labor camps will not only be for the adult lower classes, they will be for all lower classes. A broad and welcoming home for everyone. God that will Emperor, teach children me. Be the fire in my heart. discipline by engaging them in productive and light labor from an early age. Such as indeed toiletry cleaning and machine reparation. For you'll see there... Their small the and edge. nimble fingers 
are perfectly designed to reach into running machinery Jai and Hidari. unclog them. Remember the name. This is why God made children so small. That was insulting. Ah. Quest fail. Assess the situation. What? What do you mean, assess the situation? A job for me. Were you suggesting that there was an opportunity here to be like, oh, they're just poor little harmless mooties. They didn't actually mean to do this. They None were the victims, you see. They were the victims of chaos. My Ow. pleasure. Doesn't matter. They were mutants. Die they shall. Die they must. None shall stand in my Now, way. yes, sure. <gasps> Impaired. A bolter down here. Disgusting. Now, yes, sure. They were faithful mutants, as they have plenty of teachings of St. Drusus. And this is possible. You can have faithful mutants, just as you can have faithful lower classes. In fact, you know, not, not every mutant is a good mutant is a dead mutant. Victory but awaits. the only way to make sure that a mutant is a good mutant is indeed for them to be a dead mutant. There are exceptions. But more often than not, the rules are clear. They must be granted the one and only true salvation, which is the Emperor's mercy. If they truly are pure of soul, then they will be allowed into the God Emperor's heaven. If they are, however, as dirty on the inside Follow as they are head. on the outside and the god emperor will swiftly see them rejected from his presence as all things should be just and honorable mutants did spread it ah oh. actually no see i noticed that book and i was thinking to myself maybe i should bring that but now nah, it's probably just one of their writings I won't okay. tolerate now weakness. i will go back and fetch the book now the chat has told me the book is important Another advantage of children and toilet cleaning is that you can literally put them inside the piping and they can clean it out from the inside. Mm, correct. Just put little, little breathing apparatus on them and they can be used to clean out the sewers very effectively. They poisoned the water supply, says Winter's King. Of course they did. Filthy heretics. This is why the mutant cannot be trusted. None shall stand in my way. Oh, that just leads back up here. Okay, well that is useful. I'll lay claim to the stars. All right, was there one more thing I needed to do here, or was that... That was all of it. Okay, so the atrium. The cogitator statue. Kelthulionithan says, See, these mutant mutated lower-class men had purpose in their life, to keep and maintain a sacred boulder, awaiting for a genta to come and claim it. Alas, the governor's men kept it locked away. Oof. Disgusting. That's not a crazy thing, Winter's King. Children are small and perfectly suited for cleaning out the sewers. Plus, the sewers are pretty safe, you know? They're, as long as they've got a you know chart and a compass, there's nothing dangerous in the sewers. Except for the previous feral children we sent down into the sewers, who are now preying on their own kind, of course, because they're small and weak. But that happens in only a tiny, minute percentage of situations. That's no reason to change age-old traditions of using children as sewer laborers. Speaking of, um... 11 to 17. I'm starting to kind of not like the heavy bolter, I'll admit. I mean, it can shoot a lot, which is cute, but it's damage. Damage the Xeno sucks and surface chaos increased by plus four. Oh, that's quite nice. That is actually quite nice. Um, did I get a heavy melter? Was I dreaming? Is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> no, I did not. Multi melter. There you go. 
There you go. Grab that one. Oh, yeah. Big gun. Big Ugunu. See, at least this, this flamer does damage, but 22 to 33. Sounds good, but with only 5 armor penetration, that's really not that much. And because it only fires in a straight line, it's way less impressive than you'd think it'd be. At least the multi is a nice big fat nuking weapon, you know? Nice big fat nuking Victory weapon. Victory awaits. Uh, Carnival Barker. I have, I have lost. Scusez-moi? Oh, that guy. I remember that guy. A new so, challenge for me? Cogitator near statue. Was there a statue here? Yes, there was. Cogitator. That one? I won't tolerate weakness. Shrine. Is it that shrine? Follow hmm. my lead. Cogitator uh, statue. None shall stand in my way. Hey, they got a picture on the wall now. Good of them. Cogitator statue. Heresy's the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> then managed to cogitate and statue in the small temple. Footfalls Atrium was once supposed to be the nave of the cathedral. Examine the cogitator by the statue of Footfalls Founder. By the Victory statue of awaits. Footfalls Founder. So I'm guessing that's not it. There was another statue over here, wasn't it? That looks more like the founder. Okay, cogitator. That one. Uh, to break any track beats heart, the machine is leaning slightly to one side, grimly covered in scrawling drawings with frivolous writing scratched here and there on the casing. Several of the keys are missing, and the rest are coated with dust. Realizing design. Hmm, greetings, it says. Greetings to you, keen wanderer, who found my message and solved my riddle. I, Parsimus Dewayne, master of footfall, trailblazer of the Expanse, am pleased to welcome visitors to my magnificent palace in the stars. Footfall is my great creation. It is what marked the beginning of the Imperium's triumphant march into the Coronas Expanse. You are here because you managed to discover the message in the almanac of footfall published on my order, and find the caches I had installed at selected sites. You have seen the view from the dome of the great cathedral, the void piercing arches of the province bridge, the stars called gaze through the windows of the small quay. Only thus, step by step, can one experience the scale and the elegance of my creation. I'm sorry to tell you this, buddy, but your creation was never actually finished. Footfall sights are their own reward. However, I have prepared a gift for those who might unravel my riddle. Approach my statue, for the gift awaits you there. Remember, nothing must stand between you and your design, no matter how audacious and grand it may be. Try to pet it. Okay, uh, just hints, I'm guessing. A small blue purse with focus incense. And a righteous fury cape. Well, ain't that new just challenge for me? Kawaii, I guess. Kawaii indeed desune. Desunene. It's about time. Right. That concludes my adventures on footfall then. I'm ready to return to my boat. 
Writing Tenor says, I find it funny that Ragus has an armor class of 21 and still gets constantly hit. I find that funny too, and I hope Sargon finds this funny as well. I want Sargon to just hit him constantly now. Make a mockery out of his armor class. Yes, yes. And I'll be there watching uh, Sargon's monsters like, should they be able to hit that? Nope, not going to say anything though. Only going to point out when Sargon goes like, you're being life-drained. Uh, Sargon, we get a save against that. No, you don't. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, yeah, you do. Hmm, Sargon He must be yelled at frequently, otherwise he'll get ahead of himself. And Gino, poor miam, poor, poor miam, poor, shame on you. <laughs> Poor me armor. Art, would an open world Warhammer Fantasy RPG not be awesome? In there was Skyrim, but Warhammer Fantasy? Yeah. Yeah, I would like that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I would actually really like that. Make it a party RPG, though. I See, you know, you know what I really want? What I really desperately want? I want a Republic Commando style game but open world, right? So you got the squad command of Republic Commando, but you are in an open world setting, and you can actually attack dungeons using, like, squad tactics and stuff. That's what I want. That's what I want so bad. Because whilst an open world Skyrim set in one fantasy would be cute, it absolutely would, I need... I want something different, you know? I want something more special than just another RPG. Something with a touch of uh, cleverness to it. You know, something revolutionary, yes. Because we used to revolutionize stuff all the time. We literally did. Like, in the early 2000s, every game was trying something new or doing something different or innovating with something. Now, everything's the same old thing. Everything's the same old silly thing. Everyone's the same true tried and tested mechanic. And that's cute enough in and of itself, because at least then you know what you're getting, but we need to return to the age of innovation we do. <sighs> now then, we have personal quests to do. My little cinnamon bun kitten. It is so fortunate you have come. I admit I was seeking you out myself. After the events on Dargonus, it felt like an anthracite grey mantle had dropped on my shoulders. I spent a long time thinking about our very first meeting and what happened next. I cannot wait to shake off this dreary color. It was very naive of me to follow in the footsteps of the man who raised me in a gilded cage. And I was deaf to the needs of my own house. But you... You opened my eyes. As the future Novatur... I must gain wisdom to restore House Orselio to its former glory, no matter the cost. <laughs> Thank you. It will be an honor to keep guiding your vessel through the Sea of Souls, for as long as the needs of our dynasties are aligned. Okay, hold on. I need to... I need to find proper background sounds for Cassia. Hmm. Hold on, I need to find... Uh... There you go. There we are. Perfect. On the contrary, Lord Captain. The mere thought of what happened tightens a grey-blue slip noose around my throat. To realize, again and again, how fervently your subjects hate you. I am sorry, Lord Captain. I should not have darkened your colors with my own struggles. Hmm. <laughs> Gift, special science. Uh, gifts. Uh, gifts? What do you mean? Uh, I mean the Immortalium. Aha, uh -huh, yes. <laughs> I see people's emotions in the vivid spectrum of hues surrounding their essence, Lord Captain. And I understand everything. However, I have enjoyed this little game. I hope you have too. Hmm. 
and gift equal to yours. But I've already given her the library, though. Hmm. Oh, goddammit. Hmm. If you wish, Lord Cap... <laughs> Words cannot describe how boring the bridge is without our stimulating conversations. Okay, good. That doesn't fuck anything up. Thank God. Oh, spicy. Right here? Are you sure? Uh, no. Fair enough. Of course. Let us turn from personal matters to more pressing concerns. A bit too public for the cinnamon bun kitten, true. Sister Argenta shines like a guiding star, inspiring resolve in those around her, seemingly inexplicably. However, I see a dark and ugly fog billow behind her, contrasting sharply with her shining light. It burdens the Sister of Battle. It drags her down. Yet Argenta herself is hardly aware of it. Seneschal Viserion is among the few whose colors are a pleasure to look at. Whenever the Seneschal speaks, heavenly crystal clarity spreads around him. And whenever he is angered, dark blue clouds condense over him. And in his rare moments of joy, a pure gleam of sunset pink caresses the souls of those near him. Out of your entire retinue, Lord Captain, he is the only one I would trust with my life. Reading Xenos's colors has always been a grueling challenge for me. The boundless palette of colors Iliad emanates is too painful to look at. Her hues are bright, blinding, Unnatural, and very, very dangerous, Lord Captain. I would never entrust my safety to a being that screams so loudly and clearly of its alienness to human perception. I regret that I failed to see Iliot's designs through the prism of my own powers, Lord Captain. But now, I think I'm beginning to understand the Xenos' intentions a little better. Their lies, their fear, their fury. Now Iliad's colors are woven together in my eyes into a single garish tapestry of alien emotions. And though its shining makes my eyes bleed, I see the way Iliad dissolves into the whiteness of grief every time she speaks of home. And the way crimson flashes electrify the air every time her betrayal is mentioned. Jai is... Like a gem. The brighter people shine around her, the clearer her faces reflect a myriad of colorful gleams. They are all parts of Jai, but no single one of them is her. I cannot discern her true colors through the veil of her motley shawls. I peel off hue after hue, only to find a different color underneath every time. Mm, fake bitch. I agree. Idira's emotions are like a maelstrom, bright, unbridled, enveloping her form like a wondrous kaleidoscope of colors, and as dangerous as a twisting warp storm. The riot of colors hides the truth from my eyes. What exactly is driving this woman? Is it her own will, or... or is it the Immaterium, Lord Captain? Hmm. I have enjoyed your company. Thank you for the conversation. Heresy is the question. All right. Fire is That's the answer. Cassius <laughs> thing. Argenta, do you have anything new? Greetings. Hmm. Gladly, there are none more faithful to the God Emperor than my sisters. We fight against his enemies by the will of the Holy Ecclesiarchy. We. I beg your pardon, rogue trader. Here I am talking about what every lesser noble in the Imperium knows. So what exactly are you interested in hearing about? Once I had completed my novitiate, I was sent to the Calixian branch of the Order of Our Martyred Lady, assigned to the Order's Pronatus. The Order's mission is vital and noble, 
The Sisters Pronatus protect great relics of the Imperium. We guard them, preserve them, escort them when they are brought onto the battlefield or presented for pilgrims to venerate. And we seek out the relics that have been lost. Neither a coven of heretics nor the most wicked death world can deter Sisters Pronatus when their goal is to return a piece of the great legacy of the Imperium into the hands of the faithful. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, that is curious, because that is indeed not one of the Order's militants. Don't let the name deceive you. The Order's militant trains Sisters to march onto the battlefield as an army. That does not make sisters who belong to the non-militant orders timid and helpless. Mm, question mark, question mark, question mark. Both the solace bringing sisters Hospitala and the enlightened sisters Dialogus know how to greet enemies of humanity. Their dialogue with heretics is usually quite short, with the last word being a Volta discharge. And my order has all the more reason to be known for the martial prowess of its sisters. We are the keepers of the Imperium's relics. What would become of our blessed hero's legacy if the sisters Pronatus could not protect it? Should any more arise, keeping them to yourself would be imprudent. It is a virtue to take an interest in holiness. Sister Dialogus very rarely, if ever, go onto the battlefield, for obvious reasons. They primarily exist to exem extem exterminate, exterminate language, well, occasionally, yes, examine language, and learn its secrets and translate it. But he tells he tells. Hello there, homosexual love romance interest person. You're going to tell me about a cult, aren't you? Try not to lick my ears while you do it. The cult's ordinary members are humans who have been corrupted by the archenemy, traitors to the Imperium, and accomplices of chaos. Participation in the cult's rituals always entails brainwashing, literally and figuratively. The longer cult members spend among other cultists, the less critically they think, and the more closely they resemble obedient livestock, stripped of their fear and instinct for self-preservation. The worst of them go to their deaths without an inkling of doubt, ready to take hundreds and thousands of souls with them. As for those at the top of the cult's hierarchy, we have not yet managed to get a lead on all of the cult's leaders. I imagine that some of them are hiding in the depths of the Coronas Expanse, but those who are orchestrating the fanatics on nearby worlds are hiding very well indeed, or receiving protection from above. Hmm. We seem to have been investigating this cult for quite some time. We discovered the first traces of it as soon as we arrived in the Coronas Expanse. Since then, the more we learn, the better we see just how far the roots of this blight extend. Destroying individual cells is pointless. We must cut this beast off at its head. And you suspect the nobility is involved? Heresy. <laughs> Governors, commanders, Rogue traders. History is full of those who neglect their duty to the Golden Throne and seek allies in the wrong places. I need to confirm the reports from my agents. According to them, one of the cult's leaders is in the Kiava Gamma segment, an industrial world within the dominion of the Fon Falancius dynasty. I hope you won't impede my investigation. Now he says Fon again. As you wish. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's cute. Yes, but not here. I wouldn't want our conversation to be gossip fodder on the bridge and in the officer's mess. Oh, God. You know, yep, of course, you're going to come to my bedroom again. Henrix, I'd prefer it if you'd stayed out of here. Thank you for finding an opportunity to talk. I trust now would be a good time to explain the reason for my return aboard your ship. Yes, a diabolical thirst after my Angus. But I must yet again disappoint you, Henrix. I wonder, in gay romance quests, do you think they're primarily the pitchers or the catchers? Hmm. 
And Raining Terror says, Woo the Navigator, be the man the King Cuckold isn't. Of course we're wooing the Navigator. She's good grill after all. I welcome the chance to assist the Inquisition with his inquiries, Fan Calux. Lord Captain, your enthusiasm is commendable. To business, then. The cult of the final dawn. The madmen preach their heretical doctrine among the Denzians of the Colonel's expanse. And is an instigate crimes against the throne and humanity. Once such crime took place in your protectorate, the Lord Inquisitor considers it necessary to have one of his acolytes accompany the rogue trader on the voyage into the corrupted region. I also need to meet with one of my observers on the capital world of your domain. Hmm. Why would Ordo Zeno act? Well, you know, uh, Xenos means that they specialize in Xenos. It doesn't mean that they ignore chaos if they see it, but... Uh. You're well versed in how the Inquisition is organized. The supreme glorious greatness, Sir Arch of Terror. Yes, initially our arrival in the Coron's Expanse was dictated by the need to fight Xenos. There is more. The cult is tangentially related to my main specialization. Perhaps I'll be able to reveal the full truth someday, but right now I ask you to display humility and patience. Well, the first one's going to be damnably difficult, but the second one, well, that'll be hard too, frankly, but, you know, we'll try. Hmm. Well, oh, I think we're show leniency to what Max and Woodworth have interpreted as radical. Ooh, could he? That is correct. I should show greater tolerance for the mistakes of a newly appointed rogue trader. To be frank, I am surprised the Lord Inquisitor is not the type to indulge the weakness of soul and mind, even in someone who has recently accepted the burden of a lofty title. What about the cult? Chaos worshippers most often agents of the throne run into lone renegades stirring up the rabble, insane prophets and hysteric visionaries preaching the end of the days, a passing comet, a mutant rebellion, an onslaught of monsters. Each time they come up with a new reason why people should prostrate themselves and quiver in fear. Much effort and the blood of those loyal to the Golden Throne was spent before we established the connection between those heretics. However, the cult of the Final Dawn is something greater than a gaggle of misguided seers and fortune tellers. They clearly, cleverly spread their agents all over the Coron's expanse, disseminating heresy amongst honest people on the Imperial worlds. There is a certain strategy to their actions that changes whenever we get too close. And finally, they have enough military power to have had the two ships that were sent after them later discovered as wreckage. The growing difficulty in making warp jumps is detrimental to us, but it is unlikely to inconvenience those who engage in vile sorcery day in and day out. After the events of Rikad Menores, I suspect the cult may have built its nest inside a Winterscale domain. But the latest reports indicate it is your protectorate as a harboring heretics. Being in your entourage improves my chance of getting closer to their secrets. Hmm. What else do you need of me? Because I know the answer to these two. He's not accusing me, he's just saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not he is. The Inquisition always accuses everyone. That's because they're the Inquisition. The rogue trader should deliver me to systems that contain the industrial world of Kiawakama. I will then accompany you to the surface and determine what the cult is planning and how it intended to use the resources that have fallen to their clutches, which may very well include the blessed engines of the Adeptus Mechanicus and even the followers of the Omnisire themselves. I will be frank, the answer to this question is unlikely to please either of us. The machinations of chaos usually go beyond solely inflicting countless deaths and destruction. Having their plans come to fruition would lead to far more terrible consequences. One of the systems in the current expanse is already lost. May the Emperor protect us from watching this tragedy play out again. Hmm, Chaos Space Marine is discriminating his brothers. I have no doubt it will happen sooner or later. Your supreme glorious greatness, Sir Arch of Terror. Chaos Marines siding with the cult is very, very bad news. Most likely they kept away until recently, pulling their puppet strings from a respectable distance. These traitors seldom show up alone. The best we can count on is having to deal with just a squad of Chaos Space Marines in the Coron's Expanse, and not an entire company. A company of Chaos Space Marines would indeed suck quite viciously. Hmm. 
A commendable aspiration for a person who holds the fates of billions of people and dozens of imperial worlds in their hands. Which is why we need you to be even more vigilant when looking for seeds of corruption on your planets. At least they spout someday and spell doom for whatever is tangled up in their roots. And what about the Drukari who stole the Rykad's son? The Drukari, one of the branches of the Alderi, an ancient and vicious Cedos race. Those creatures are a living terror to ordinary people who fall prey to their raids, for the simple reason that the victims are not killed outright but instead become their playthings. Just as you and I need air to survive, the Drukari acquire a psychic energy born from torment and pain, which they extract from the captives with uncanny, uncanny expertise. Their ships, which are difficult to mistake for any other, arrive suddenly and undetected. Their stealth technology greatly surpassed the capabilities of standard Imperium Augra race. The objectives of their raids is never to capture a world or a ship, no, they're only interested in fresh victims. After filling their holes with living captives, they disappear into the webway, a different dimension which conceals their greatest stronghold, Komarog, the dark city of the Dukari, from which none can hope to escape. Uh, we'll see about that. I don't know why the Drukari stole the Rykad's son and brought about the fulfillment of the cult's prophecy. Perhaps the Zedos themselves have played into the arch enemy's designs. Or perhaps Aurora's divination in fact described the Drukari's actions. There is only one thing I can say with absolute certainty. There is no alliance between the cult of the Final Dawn and the Zenos. It is simply impossible. That is by and large true, yes. The Drukari do not like to deal with chaos because, well, chaos wants to eat their souls. Hmm. Now put it this way. You may think whatever you want of me, but my goal is not to hinder you. I am here to help you in the fight against foes you may not even be aware of. You have my word that I will provide every assistance in uprooting the heresy he that has sprouted on the von Flens's world as that master was away. And that I will try to be more patient with less grievous flaws the better of the warrant are sometimes known to have. Thank you for sparing the time, Lord Captain. Now, to return to the question of whether gays wish to be the pitcher or the catcher, I believe that the game is going to leave that ambiguous, so that the gay himself can determine whether or not he wants to receive or produce. I think that would be the more reasonable way to go about it. Ah, now then, I need to figure out where this Kaiki Gamma thing is. Somebody mentioned a button here somewhere. Alright, well that does help. It doesn't actually tell me where I need to go, but well, it does help. Right. Okay, well, let's go exploring then. I would like to get over... Uh, Stuff has happened somewhere, apparently. Hmm. I'd like to go and check those two. Cooling systems, for instance, sorcery. A ballistic skill. Ballistic skill succeeded. Yay! So how do I get over there? Because I've been here... Yeah, 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 yeah. Random events. So I can't get over there, so I probably... It might not even be... reachable, because I've been over there. I might need a custom route to go there. Which would suck, because that's a lot of warp points.
That's a lot of war points. Uh, yeah, definitely don't want to go over there. Okay, so you can expand cargo to get away with the random events a little bit. Okay. Well, that's nice. Uncharted system. All right, I'll definitely go there. All right. Uh, so wait, how do I... I wanted there more of a point. Ah, lots of traveling. Well, Captain, the Vox system intercepted a distress signal coming from an Imperial vessel. The system contains a ship that belongs to the planetary fleet of Dargonus, Captain of the Final Phalanxes Dynasty. Capital. The transmission is repeated at regular intervals, but the message itself is corrupted. A cacophony of requests for help, groans, and shouts. What in the world? It is your name they are shouting, Lord Captain. How very creepy deepy weepy. Okay, space dust gives me fuel. Stuff and stuff. More useless plasteel. I mean, there's an absolute ridiculous quantity of fuel here, which I'm hardly going to say no to. Oh boy, a gutted void ship, you say? None shall stand in my way. Well, that does look to be probably a sign of imminent uh, hostility. Agile mutant, spitter mutant. Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. I see. Turn to shit and dust, bitch. Take a knee and bow before me. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, it does seem like this ship has fallen on uh, hard times. It does indeed appear as such. Right, well, I can make the hard times significantly harder for them. And I very much so intend to. You think your lives sucked before I arrived? Well, that was very foolish of you, because I can guarantee you your lives are going to suck a lot more now that I am here. And indeed, you can go up there too. Right, Cassia. Hmm. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Oh, Menta Scorching Area of Attack. Right, but for now, make sure that the Agile Mutant is not so agile anymore by blowing off his legs! Strike is a prayer. Good job, Argenta. I knew I could rely on you to be brutally violent. Oh no, stairs. My ancient arch enemy, which makes all of my AoE attacks useless. God damn it. I do hate stairs. That was a lot of attacks. Hmm. I smell the stench of a little bit of zinch going on here. How the fuck can I not shoot that? Come on. If it serves your cause. Really? A 95% miss? That's fucking impressive, that is. This tedium is beneath me. Very, very, uh, very impressive. There is movement in the Empyrean. Hey, dear. Anything else? Zappy zap. Oh god, you've got a lot of hit points, don't you? Hmm. On it. 
Right, Yadira, in the absence of Adel Uh you're my tank, so get ready to get punched repeatedly. So, whilst we're dealing with the riffraff, what does chat think about uh, Texas' de facto <sighs> declaration of independence? Me. Because that is what it is. When a state says that its right to defend itself militarily supersedes the federal government's rights to enforce its will upon the state, that is pretty much the state going, yeah, no, I am... Um, we we have our own rules now. Go away. I think that is very interesting. Particularly as the federal government is really not in any way, any position in America to do anything about it. I mean, firstly, because Biden is a weak president, but secondly, and more importantly, uh, because Texas is sitting on, like, the entirety of the United States oil reserves at this point, which suddenly seems like a poor choice of uh, placement for if the strategic oil reserves, not to mention a significant portion I'm of the United custom. States armed forces as well. Isn't this a job for another foe painted black? I think feel like Biden has chosen a particularly silly opponent for uh, his fun and games in this rejoice in battle hmm yes that yes. is for Fire the weak that way. as the emperor commands <laughs> very nice very good i know what i'm doing jay Usually. you may join in as well going somewhere never cross a kasbalikin how did you weirdo That one has a lot of hit points for some reason. Wait. What about... So the plasma gun. No, actually, the plasma gun will be better here used against that group. Come here. Already done. Nothing I can't do. Opposing me was your biggest mistake. That was actually not entirely or what I wanted. too easy. Hmm. Boom. Me. Well, I'll have no. Texas is declaring dependence on U.S. Constitution. Ah, no, not at all. You see, the uh, the right to self-defense is within part of the U.S. Constitution, sure. Nothing but that I is going do. to be trumped by the uh, the additions added on after the Civil War, My where the states do not have now. the rights to secede. This also means that the states are not going to have the uh, the rights to self-defense, etc., <laughs> if the federal government determines it differently. This is why the uh, thing that I'll Texas is leaning itself on to is, is the Texan, uh, uh, not confederation, uh, the pair, or was it Texan constitution? For written me. into the Tex Texas constitution says that Texas will only abide by the constitution of the United States so long as it abides by the constitution of Texas. In other words, Ooh. so long as the constitution Cause... is allowing Texas to act as it wishes within its own legislative bounds it considers its bound have, itself bound lost. by the american constitution but whenever it does not do that the texas constitution claims to trump the american constitution legalistic nonsense but it's in essence a way for them to try and circumvent the supreme court potentially because bearing in mind if it is a constitutional question uh, then it becomes a supreme court blood? question but of course, the Supreme Court is nothing more than an organ of the federal government. That was the clever portion of the uh, Constitution in that regard. Which means that the Constitution is, in essence, subject to the will of the federal government. It wasn't intended to be so, but in all effect, it is. Because, again, Deliver the Supreme us. Court is first and foremost a political organ in this day and age. It wasn't supposed to be that way, and maybe it won't be that Suits way if purposes. more ideal... 91% chance, you bitch. If more ideological elements get in charge, because it isn't supposed to be that way. Again, Doubt is for the weak. if more principled forces manage to get I in control and says, like, nope, this is not a constitutional fury. question, they will simply Eradicated. rule directly... Or not, uh, this is a constitutional question. And they will rule based on the constitution rather than the people who have put them in that position want them to do. That is the ideal outcome. 
You've got a problem? And hey, I've it does happen. We saw the Supreme Court go against John Falafakis, for example, even though done. he had appointed many of them. We have seen elements of it go against their uh, their paymasters in the past, so it certainly isn't impossible. Uh, and Nothing I can't do. What? Okay, yeah, that's bugged. I I did not miss Shoot a ninety-one percent chance twice. I don't think. Isn't and... this a job for another third? I'll live another black. day. Why right. did I not foresee this? A messy Victory fucking awaits. encounter, but. A very messy encounter. What is it? Ready as always. Service if it pleases you, Sherry. What was it? Um. Was it that one? No, it wasn't that one. Uh, right. But where's the profit in this? No, don't close the chat windows, dumb background thingy. Wait. Select her party. Let's Thank make you. a deal. No. Ooh, don't Why you, you trust me? Being difficult. No, I don't trust you. You're a pirate and a wench and a trader. One and it's well, done. Traitor rather than trader. But yes, trader as well. Um, well, let me check. Rikita, all states have the I same rights, but no ball. Mm, sort of, but you gotta remember, there are also uh, states that have their own constitutions as well, like Texas has, for example. Texas declares spe several special rights. It's about time. Uh, Texas even claims the right to secession, technically, but it would not, never fly in the federal Service court. That's the problem. And if you run into the issue where you're trying to decide whether the federal government A or state government has me. superiority, well, that's I'm kind of what the Civil War service. was about. Harris in which case, the federal government, of course, yes. argued that no, <laughs> we've got more guns than you, None and thus we are allowed to determine what rights you have and don't have. Oh boy, okay, well this got lively all of a sudden. I have, I have lost. So who's this person who's currently gunning down the mutants with the plasma rifle? Huh, okay. A navigator. I'll lay claim to the stars. Uh, so this must be the, yeah, navigator's sanctum. Alright, well that was violent and sudden. Hello, friend. The leader of the ravaged ship cruise wipes the sweat from his brow in a motion characteristic of a navigator. Now it's all hand, but the two fingers move from left to right and back so as not touch his third eye by accident. My greetings, your lordship. There is no need for introduction. I know the heirs of the Fon Falenses line by sight. I am Han of House Cassini, the navigator of this vessel, and as the senior surviving officer, I assumed command after the incident. Lady Navigator, what an unexpected and pleasant meeting. Considering the circumstances, I have not had the honor of being personal acquaintances with you, but of course, I know the emblem of House Orselio. How fares the honorable regime? Cassio Orselio. Cordiality will not disguise the ice blue coldness of your words, Navigator Han. However, I will tell Regent Aronto that you inquired after his health. You may pass on my best wishes to Novator Cassini. And now let's see the pleasant set the pleasantries aside. I'm sure the rogue trader would like to ask you a few questions. What happened here? That's a good question, yes. This ship is assigned to the port of Dargonus. Some time ago, the captain was instructed to deliver a package urgently by hand to you, your lordship. We've even shown a pic of your face. This disaster struck during the warp jump. I will never know all the details as I was preoccupied with my primary duties, but for some reason, the captain decided to open the package. That, as you may have noticed, had a most destructive impact on the crew. The package contained a chaos artifact, a chaos bomb, if you will. The moment it was removed from its protective cocoon, the crew began to lose their minds and mutate. 
The first to be afflicted was the captain and his senior officers, but the effect spread with incredible speed. Every deck was consumed by it, every last one. The raging mutants no longer sane damaged many systems. The ship was in distress, and would almost certainly have been destroyed had I not resorted to make an emergency exit from the warp. The people you see here are the only survivors, or rather the only ones who were able to retain both lives and sanity. I gathered everyone I could, isolated the source of danger, and sent out a distress signal. We were adrift, waiting for help to come and fighting off a mad crew members. Then you arrived. That sounds suspicious. Hmm. Very suspicious. So the Chaos Bomb package was meant for me. Who's the sender? As far as I'm aware, the order came from Contrag Voitviger. Well, Master of Whispers and Rogue Traders Retinue. It's likely that you arranged the delivery either personally or through intermediaries. Your reaction suggests that you were not expecting a package of this sort. That is good to know. I had almost convinced myself that the Rogue Trader was deliberately collecting Chaos Artifact. Hmm. I'm not going to kill him for that. He couldn't know. I am not tainted by chaos, of course. I beg your pardon, your lordship. I saw the terrible death of the entire crew with my own eyes. I was forced to bring the ship out of the warp by means of an emergency maneuver, and then I had to find my former comrades insane and twisted. I am tired. However, the sender wanted all of this to happen to your ship. Why were you not affected? Well, that depends. I was born a mutant, you see. Technically true. Navigators are taught to resist the influence of chaos, and so I have been as best I could. But I will be frank with you, I cannot be certain that I have avoided it completely. There have been no visible indications yet. All signs point to Han telling the truth, but he also notes the clear evidence of just how difficult it is for him to struggle against the corruption. He is extremely tired, practically exhausted. Where is the artifact now? I have placed it inside a protective sarcophagus, more reliable than the previous repository. Unfortunately, an artifact as powerful as this one could not be destroyed under these circumstances. Or rather, I had no assurances that it would disintegrate every one of us, that it would not, and scatter us across several light hours of neighboring space. But once we are off the ship, I will absolutely find a way to destroy the vile thing. Hmm. Hmm. Demolition, I don't I don't dislike that. What about me and the crew? Will you take us with you? Ooh, now there's a question, isn't it? There's a question. This this is an engage with your audience moment, I think. Yes, I think you are so. Because it's difficult to say here. Could he be corrupted? Absolutely. Could he have resisted it? Within the shielding embrace of the Navigator's Sanctum? Absolutely. Could he be innocent? He could. But we don't know that for sure. Vote chat. In the meantime, let's see here. Uh, okay, so not a not a near 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 pick in the chat. Before I do the super chat as well, the Constitution is not subject to the will of the federal government. It is subject to the will of the states and the will of the U.S. people. The executive branch is not ruling over the legislative. See, that is entirely correct, but only in theory, and that's the problem. It is ruled over by the federal government because it is the federal government that appoints the court's uh, supreme justices. That is the issue. In theory, yes, the Constitution is uh, subject to the will of the states and the will of the U.S. populace. In reality, that is not the case. That is the unfortunate uh, real politique situation. Now again, people with strong enough principles on the Supreme Court can absolutely overturn that, as they are not indeed technically beholden to it. But 
Usually, when someone is given a big, fat, pretty position by a certain political party or individual, they tend to be somewhat beholden to that individual. Which is, incidentally, why no politician should ever appoint anyone to the Supreme Court, nor should it be a political nomination or a political process at all. In reality, it should probably be a popular vote, rather than anything else, in my opinion, but details. Uh, Rain Teller, Archley, what is an example of a mutation that lets you still count as a human and not that it makes you not human? Uh, well, stable mutations. That's the primary difference. If you can be identified as a stable strain of mutations, then you may be considered human. Uh, Rattling, for example, is a stable mutation. Ogryn is a stable mutation. Um, the cases of people being very short due to high gravity would be a stable mutation. The people being very tall due to low gravity would be a stable mutation. You know, stuff like that, caused by... Um, by nature, rather than chaos, if you get my drift. So, even having a third eye, for example, like the Navigators, would be considered a stable mutation, and then fit into the ranks of humanity. Even possibly having a tentacle might make you into a stable mutation as part of humanity, determined by the world, and of course the, uh, which, what was it branch that did that? I don't think it was the Inquisition. I think it was a branch within the uh, Administratum that classified abhumans and mutants, etc. Hmm. Uh, Michael Eleven, there is constant provision in case of invasion. Constitutional provisions in case of invasion. Uh, there is, but that of course also begs the question of what you define as an invasion. Because you could argue that a massive amount of refugees is an invasion, but I don't know if the Supreme Court will argue that. And I do believe it is a rather big stretch of the definition of the word invasion. I do absolutely believe that the governor of Texas is torturously stretching out that definition. Because at that point, you could theoretically declare virtually any large-scale movement of people as an invasion. That would also then theoretically allow the state to go like, we're getting too many refugees from California. This is an invasion. See? It's it's not that easy either. Uh, Mr. Bob7370, I find it kind of ironic that US citizens are seceding again. I think it could, could cause large problems for the USA as a whole, if not handled correctly. But I think Texas could do good here or it could go horribly wrong. Uh, it's not going to go horribly wrong. I can guarantee you that... It is not going to go that far. Um, Biden is not in a strong enough position to do anything about any of this, essentially. So nothing is going to happen. Texas is going to do its border defense and that'll be it. And worst case scenario, Biden will just yell at them and call them fascists for a little bit. And that's about it. That would be literally the extent of this, I believe. Hmm. See, TBA also makes a, popular, a good point. A popular vote? No, I kind of enjoy not being ruled by Chicago, New York City, and LA. That's true, too. That you need some form of um, degree-based representation. Absolutely. And in fact, the US had a very good system of that. For a while, at least. But it, too, is becoming quickly subverted. Especially due to practices such as gerrymandering, which happens on both sides, of course. See, that is, of course, the issue with dividing populaces into geographical regions and then giving them more or less de facto arbitrary political powers, because it does mean that in certain areas your vote will count for less, and on the other side of the street your vote will count for more, which is dumb, but it is also a necessity when the vast majority of the population is going to be focused around urban areas and will not understand the plight of those not in urban areas, and vice versa, potentially. Let's see, which way is chat leaning on this difficult decision of ours? And the cheerful cynic on Rumble. Hey, Arch, you always want alternatives to GW? Have you looked up Kings of War? It's a solid game, IABD, one of a fancy biggest competitor, Harrison but its lore is unfortunately underdeveloped the at answer. the moment. <laughs> I have seen it. It looks very what I'm a fantasy-esque. A little bit too much, even, I would say. 
and they do definitely need to focus on the lore, because currently it feels just like a war game, essentially, and again, I don't play Warhammer because of the tabletop war game rules. The tabletop war game rules tend to be shit, more often than not. I play it because of the universe, so you absolutely do need the universe as well, because if not, well, why do I play with these models? Why don't I simply just go out in the forest and pick up a bunch of sticks and stones and play with those instead, if the rules are all that I'm interested in, you know? Okay, 11. Comifornian invasion is not illegal, sadly, yet. Let's see. Uh, two. Very well. 40%. 40% to 37% on one. That's a very close vote. Mm, but I don't see any... Uh, 69 votes, 68 votes. 67, 39. Okay, the voting seems to have slowed down to the point where we can probably call it. 39% for the second option then. Iconoclast, I'm taking you aboard my ship. There, my word is law, and no one will dare take issues with you despite the mutations. A ballsy choice, chat, a ballsy choice. Thank you, and I'll salute you before adding Lord Captain. I sense something nearby. A bold and merciful choice, chat. A bold and merciful choice. I won't tolerate weakness. Let's hope your mercy does not come back to bite you in the pee-pee. For it would be a vicious and mutated bite indeed if such a thing was to happen. I'd check out these things, right? Yes. It's about time. Right, well, I'm presuming we blew that up, because uh, I can't click on it anymore, so I'm just going to guess and assume that we did indeed detonate the explosives we had placed there, because it'd be dumb not to. Wait, I have... Jesus, that was a lot of... Oh, okay, that was a lot of points all of a sudden, yeah. Uh, my god. Um... Well, I guess now I can go make that custom path of mine, so I guess we'll do that. 11 points. Yeah, that's pretty pretty swell. So, Furibundus. Suck it at Buttercup and take the shit path. Damage taken. Ah, God damn it. I feel like anything above yellow is pretty much guaranteed failure. I won't heed your cries of mercy. Stand your ground! Well, I, uh, I guess we know how that worked out. <laughs> well, you know, it's not for sure that those are the same mutated crew members, I guess. You know, we're, we don't know for certain that's the same mutated crew members. It's, 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 it's just, um... It's just a salient possibility, let's, uh, let's put it like that. A salient possibility, yes. <laughs> It'll let go down there. Everybody else just prepare to nuke the shit out of that mass of dudes. Uh, but what about Cassia's free turn thingy? <sighs> I deal death with my hands. Rotten heavy. Well, that sounds unfortunate. Oh, she got a free turn? Huh, weird, me, but... Me, me. I'm certainly not going to complain about it. Beautiful, beautiful. As the Emperor commands, I act. All right, come on. Gather up some... Ooh, Jesus. Gather up some more in front of me. Nice, tightly... Well, I don't like that. They keep... Don't go over there. You'll become another mutant, you dumbass. Run, 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 run. 
Well, I'm gonna need a lot more crew members, it turns out. Right. Faith you without deeds is go over there. Guided by faith. Doubt is for the weak. Ka chick chick. I'll do it. Hmm. Mm, the bloody bits are covering the decks. There's going to be some serious cleaning crew operations here. I can blow that up. Oh, too easy. Press the advantage. And Kasplat. Nothing of value has been lost. And this is why we keep the plasma gun. Actually, where's that uh, anti-life pistol? Blast pistol, yes. I don't have time for this. Oh, okay, damn it. Really? Mm. Nothing I can't do. Alright, fine. None can escape the Emperor. None of my friendly AI have shot me in the back yet, which is unusual. <laughs> For the glory of the Imperium. Very unusual. Watch my back. Almost confusing. Am I getting paid for this? Don't get too cocky. As usual, you don't provide me much in the way of aid there, Jay, but... Hey. I'm used to it at this point. What is this foreboding? What? Why must you do this, Jay? Why must you be like this? Nobody else is like this. Nobody else is so difficult like you, Jay. Why must you leave, let the poisonous lightning bounce over here? Hmm. Well. Emperor, there is always the opportunity to just blow them up. Isn't this a job for the serfs? I'm not a cosmic. And one plague better down. And Argenta, I'll my your death dear. In colors. Darling. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. I think it is time for you. Oh, no, damn it. Okay. This is why I was chosen. Well, that's fine. I get two of these now. Come on. Make sure we're hitting As him the too. Commands, I act. There you go. Good grill. Faith without deeds is worthless. Good grill. Duty prevails. My allies still haven't shot me in the back. I will endure. Is the hear you moving? Yes. No more. Yes, the stinky is getting closer. I okay, well. That's fine. We can probably kill them before the stinky reaches anything particularly precious. Hopefully. Don't go into the stinky, you fa <sighs> You've retarded fucking Okay. It's like, no, oh, I'm hey, really half the done. bridge is covered in green fog. I should go over that. No, no, you Rejoice shouldn't. It's not battle. good for you. Stupid fucking crew. The sometimes, sometimes I wonder if my crew are intelligent. I don't think I need a plasma Already recharger. Done. Oh, come the fuck on! 
If it serves your call, another soul slips beyond the veil. It's a lot of 80-90% misses for Arch recently. I think that's the third one in a row. Good God. Clearly, I just need to do the AOE thing and nothing but. I can do that with the right incentive. Fire is the answer. <laughs> well, you say so, you did, huh? But reality begs to differ. Dearest, like I can do that. No. I don't think. Oh, don't go into the fucking smog, you stupid wench. I have read tomes of military tactics, as duty demands. There we go. That'll fix that. Enjoy your luck while you still draw breath. Oh. Oh, you still didn't shoot me. Wow. Holy shit. They've actually made it so that the AI doesn't just randomly gun down your own troops. Wow, that is... That is a genuine and unironic improvement. Not bad. Yeah, a bit, bit late, but hey. Better late than never, right? I think so. None shall stand in my way. Better late than never. JD is the new gold standard. Odd amount of combat on your ship, my lord. It does seem to happen a bit, doesn't it? Right, but now I am on Furibunda, so that footfall. Right, I am going to bind footfall to this place. And I'll make it safe too, just to make sure. Right. That will make traveling back and forth here infinitely more comfortable. Whether that is a wise investment or not, well, that is something that we are going to find out, isn't it? That's weeaboo. Okay, so I need to go over there. How does one go over there, I wonder? I hope I don't need to do like a... No, I can probably do it there, there. Yeah, that's probably it. Have I charted these systems? Let me just... Make sure... Yep, charted. Aha! Not charted. Didn't really actually reveal anything, but... Okay, and I'm gonna make that one unsafe, at least. Was I correct? I was. Okay. That reveals a whole bunch of other stuff. Bring Heinrichs to Kiawa Gamma. So that's where Kiawa Gamma is. Okay. Well, I don't want to go there yet. I want to explore up here first. Oh, I should have actually visited that fucking system, shouldn't I? Uh, there's absolutely nothing there. Okay, well, good enough. Enemies of humanity. Nothing. A warp gate. Really now? That's unusual, but let's deal with whatever this is first, I suppose. Right, we've fought cruisers. What's next For on the, the line? Grand cruisers? Battleships, maybe? A light cruiser and like four destroyers. All of which seem to somehow always get to do all of their actions before me, which is mildly uncomfortable. Oh, Captain, we seem to be surrounded on all sides. Why? Well, you know, I detected the enemy and I just kept sailing right into the middle of them because, I don't know, 
As a helmsman, I still have a lot to learn, I guess. Yes. I think so too, actually. Right, uh, that places all of them in really shit positions, actually, because I don't get to really shoot any of them very effectively. Okay, well, at the very least, Fire make right sure we now. use our broadsides immediately. Leave the hull strewn across the stars! Dorsal. This one's going down. Nice. Torpedoes locked. Bleed them. Lancet. Set the course. Uh, out of range, so we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, vulnerability scan on the big boat, por favor. And, uh, shit, is it left or is it right now? It's, is it right still or is it left? Okay, right. So, so it's relevant to the direction the ship is facing in when you do it, maybe. I don't fucking know. I could like to restart the shields, but it's reinforced on that side, so we're just gonna let that be for now. Don't forget to check the colonies. Yeah, I should do that as well, I'm sure. If you want to waste shots on my plasma torpedoes, I am happy for you to do that. Jeez. Hum, that is kind of a useless turn there, torpedoes. Yes, kind of a useless turn indeed. That will get you nowhere worthwhile. Set you. They're probably going to get destroyed, yeah, virtually guaranteed. But at least that way, if they run past it, I can at least fire at them then. This one's going down. Another salvo! really want to recycle my shields, but also really kind of want to go that way. I could lance it. But then I'd kind of just be in the middle of all of them. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Nah, no, that won't reach anything useful. Boarding parties. Right, I can do that now. Whee! All right, lots of damage and a dot. All right, let's get a little bit of distance, cycle the shields. So... Is it... No, because that's going to be... But, I mean, it would be... Yes, that is... I, I wish it would light up on the model where that was, because it's really confusing. I'm gonna keep shooting me in the ass. Nice burnings, almost killed it. It's going to burn for another turn, isn't it? So I don't really need to bother destroying that thing. It should explode all by its lonesome. And you're not going to allow that to live, are you? I mean, surely you're not going to... No, no. 
That would have been particularly retarded of you, so I don't need to waste shots on that. Lay in the course. Uh, yes, that's bad. Lead them. This one's going down. All right, I'm taking more damage than I want to, but I am winning, so. Unleash our vengeful salvo! I guess I don't care. So, which side is right now, then? Is is that still... No. Now that, which was that, is now that. Because, God help me, nothing ever truly makes any more... Any sense anymore. If... Oh See, I don't know what it's... Mm, is it dependent upon the ship's position via, via, via the camera? Is it dependent upon the ship's original position? Is it dependent upon... What? It really needs to just show you, like be like, oh yeah, no, this will this will reinforce this sector of the ship. That would be very, very handy. Right, torpedoes, slam yourself into that boat and make it go boom boom. Very nice, very cute. Leave the hull strewn across the stars. Set the course. And you, I am just going to blow into fucking smithereens right away. Thank you very much. Fire the lance batteries. Another notch on the macro cannon. This one's going down. Beautiful. Another victory of two great dynasties, Lord Captain. Beautiful. Do indeed carry out the uh, the void repairs. Uh, the the warp gate that is exceptionally non-standard. Nothing. Lord Captain, we are passing by a construct marked on the star chart as a dimensional gate. Our augs are not showing any suspicious energy readings. The device is dormant. Thank the Emperor. What is this gate? An ancient Sino artifact older than humanity itself. Judging by its design, there's a gate leading somewhere, possibly straight into the wicked abyss of the warp. Considering all the nasty shit that used to roam around here, many captains, her lordship Theodora included, have tried to reveal its secrets. But it seems that no one can figure out how it works. Good for them, if you ask me. I feel like the Imperium would have mined and blown this thing up, but, uh, hmm. What's Theodora's interest in it? Her ladyship didn't exactly share her plans with us, or has kept them close to her chest. But I'll go on a limb and say she was searching for a way to open the gate and see what was on the other side. That would be particularly retarded, but probably, yeah. The Cognizance fleet conducted its own analysis of the, Z analysis of the Xeno artifact. All the records of the ex expedition to the site were added to the exploration catalogue. Nasty in what way? I don't want to repeat the rumours that I don't know the truth, but it was bad. There was words of ships and even whole trade convoys disappearing. Captains started avoiding the system. Until even eventually, Lord Inquisitors came here and made short work of it. Hasn't been much in the way of rumours ever since, actually. The Inquisition made sure voidsmen keep their mouths shut. But if the gate used to spew out, it must have been profane and a danger to humanity. Report received. I wish to- yeah, sure, why not? Let's poke the boy- yeah, yeah. And there was a great thing was this lint that of limits and packed it with mines that August wouldn't be able to detect. Okay, fair enough, I guess. So, for future exploration. I'm sorry, Lord Captain. That part of the map is for a future DLC. You can't explore it yet. Which, hey, is still better than, you know, Dragon Age Origins. Oh, you wish to go to my family castle, do you? Very well. You are going to have to enter your PIN code. <laughs> To get access to my family castle and the secrets that lie within. Hmm. Hi, factotum person. Please tell me if I have anything I can trade with you. Stuff, stuff. 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 Stuff and things. Things and stuff. 
I never use the combat stim, so I don't care about those. Stuff, stuff, stuff and things, stuff, stuff and things, stuff, stuff, stuff. Stuff and things, stuff, 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 stuff. Power sword. Mm, I'll keep the power sword. Stuff. 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 Stuff and things. Stuff. Stuff. Stuff and things. Sticks. 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 Shotguns. Sticks. Chain axe. I'll keep that because that's funny. Stuff. Stuff and things. Poiky stick. Right, um, tradable, 2,200 worth of tradable. Okay, I'll do it. Riser pattern plasma batteries, I'll get those too, thank you very much. I don't know if they're useful, but... Very well. Oh. You're gonna give me things for free, are you? Well, I'll happily take things for free. Thank you for... The knives I just sold. Very, very useful. Thank you. A meso pattern auto pistol, Bryn Walker, Staff of Endless Psyche. Inferno, Inferno. Oh, that's kind of cute. Power Axe. Improved Injector. Deadly repeater, 22 to 32. That's pretty cool. Pretty swell. Reconstructed flame pistol, 13 to 19 down. And an AoE attack. Okay, so that's better than the other stuff I have. Heavy flamer, 18 to 26. That too. 10 arm. That's not bad either. Focused melter gun, 25 to 28. Precision Bolter, though, is really good. 50 and 21 damage. That's that's quite exceptional. And a rate of fire of 4 as well. Heavy st rate of fire 12. <laughs> mm. God, everything you have is so expensive. But I really want that. I really want the Rate of Fire 12 Heavy Stubber. I really want the Rate of Fire 12. That's 24 shots with full auto. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Commissar boot. Oh. Held up plasma grenades. No, no. Give me all of your things, sir. All of them. Thank you. Do you have something that he doesn't want? You do. Okay, there you go. I will take the deadly repeater. Thank you. And the improved ejaculator as well. What man would possibly pass up an improved ejaculator? No man. No man, sir. What am I doing? Oh, that's what I was doing. God help me. Right, let's check out colonies too. Yeah, two to five damage per shot, sure, but that's still the same as the heavy bolter. And there's a lot of shots, 24 of them. That's pretty swell. All right, what are we doing here, then? Uh, nothing at the moment. Yarnus, the Lord Captain's presence will be required. You don't say. Dargonus. Mercy, disgusting. Shield of the Emperor. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Twenty scrap for winning space battles. No, the shield of the emperor always. the The god emperor's imperial navy requires my aid, and so it shall, of course, have it. No question, no doubt. 
And Weeaboo 6. I still need more people and stuff and stuff for that. Okay. Fine and dandy. I'm disappointed by the fact that this didn't leave up, lead up there, though. But hey, it does lead down here, and it does lead to Kyavagama. So, I suppose I can't complain too loudly. Scan. Adamantium? Well, I'd like it, Adamantium, but... Of wealthy noble. Further searching reveals the remains of an Enviro dome, a landing pad, the main manor, and servants' quarters. It is impossible to determine what exactly happened here. The search team has found something truly disturbing in the main hall an opulently clothed skeleton sitting at the dinner table. The table is set with gold plates covered with old blood and piles of bones. The bones on the plates are clearly human. No other remains have been found on the estate. Holy fire! Burn. Yeah, no, that one was pretty simple. There appears to have been a lot of people who ate each other on this vessel, Lord Captain. What shall we do? Burn. Oh, God, another one. Okay. Well, that'll have to be for next time, then. So, as I've got a meeting to run off to in not too long. We shall save it there. Seem save, what, nine now or something, I think? So, thank you all very much for watching, chat. Thank you for your generous donations, as always. And we'll do, uh, hopefully, a bit more Rogue Trader next week. You know, I, I want to I wanna try and get, get in there a little bit. Because one stream a oh, week, God, we're not going to be done until 2027 at this rate. We'll see. We'll see if I can't find the time for it. Until then... Have a very good night, chat, and I'll see you all again tomorrow with the Archcast, where we will be talking about gatekeeping again. That's always a good topic, so goodbye.